What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Brent Watches Babylon 5 for the very first time. My name is Brent. I'm watching Babylon 5 for the first time, and this is Season 4, Episode 12, Conflicts of Interest. My prediction for this episode is this is going to be about the Mars resistance, the smugglers, those folks who need to decide if they're going to actually sign up for this alliance that Sheridan is building. If they do that, they're going to have to abide by some rules they might not like, but it's also going to be good for them if they do, so therein lies the conflict of interest. Also, Garibaldi, he's got some figuring out to do. He's figure out where he belongs, you know? So uh, I think that's what we're going to get into today. Is that what really happens? I have no idea. You guys probably do. I'm going to find out. Hey, while you guys are here, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel while we're here. We know only about 60% of you guys out there are subscribed. The other 40% Come on, join the fun. We have lots of videos coming out, lots more stuff planned coming very, very soon. And, and we're rolling out new stuff, new stuff rolling out, which is so cool. Also, please, no spoilers down in the comments. Uh, Jeff and I have not seen anything beyond this point and we don't wanna be spoiled. Plus we like trying to interact with you guys. So please no, no, no spoilers. And uh, that includes connecting dots back to previous episodes that we may have missed, things like that. Let us catch that on Babylon 5 for the second time. All right, let's jump into this episode, Conflicts of Interest. Three weeks, Garibaldi. Three weeks since I asked you to help find my daughter. I haven't been able to eat. I haven't been able to sleep since we were separated during the raid on the heiress colony. Ben. She means everything to me. She's right behind him, isn't she? Without her, I have nothing to live for. Ben. Turn around. What? Turn around. Yep. Hey, <laughs> Uh, Mr. Garibaldi, there seems to be an error. No, the bill. It's one-third your fee. It is. Yeah, it is. Well, I am going to have to take this up with bookkeeping. I mean, this hardly even covers my expenses. Isn't he bookkeeping? I, well, now that I think about it, I am the bookkeeping department. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I don't want to get me into trouble over this, so uh, why don't we just let it go with 30%? Thank you. He's a good dude. Good for my business. Oh, honey. I know I may not look like it, but I can't watch scenes like this too much. I really can't. Like, like ever since becoming a parent myself, especially a girl dad, stuff like this just hits me. It hits different. It really does. And okay. Garibaldi's good. You know, I don't like where Garibaldi's been a lot lately, but he's a good dude. All right, let's go. This guy, he looks like a famous magician. A famous, a guy that I know anyway. I, he's there. Gonna tell him what he's getting into? That dude is staring him At this down. point, Mr. Garibaldi is eminently expendable. Oh, yeah. Bad business he's mixed up in. All right, I didn't get much out of that whole intro except. That's a cool shot. Two people standing on like one of the things outside. That's a cool shot. I checked Mr. Garibaldi's file. When he resigned as chief of security, regulations required that he turn in his link, his identity card, and his weapon. This has not been done. Why? Well, I just don't think he's going to take it very well. That's all, Captain. Yeah, uh, come on, he knows Zach. He the regs as well as we do. He'll understand. Captain, look, I know the chief better than almost anybody. Now, the way he walked away, it Something's just doesn't off. make any sense. Yeah, he's right. Zach's right. Meanwhile, I want this taken care of today. Yes, this is a good, good time. Good time for this to happen, I suppose. Captain, can I ask, why the rush? Why the rush? How many weeks has it been, Zach? I don't like the company he's been keeping. Mm-hmm. Hey, Chief. Uh -oh. This is about to be awkward. Captain sent me to talk to you. Ah, yes. And what does his transcendence want from me now? Mm -hmm. Link, identity card, and uh, your weapon. <laughs> well, it's okay. You know, I never liked the damn thing from the beginning. You know, I was supposed to use that molecular bonding thing, but it, every time I took it off, it pulled the hairs off the back of my hand. See? They don't grow back anymore. <laughs> I've been talking about that for four <laughs> seasons now. Now, the gun, uh, I'm going to keep that, Zach. No, you're not. I can't allow that. Yeah. Come on, Zach. No, you're this not. This is me. I'm running a private investigation company. I can't yeah. go walking around unprotected. Go get PPG your own PPG, is dude. Military issue, chief. Anything else? How many other no, things does Garibaldi do have? Look, Chief, I'm sorry, it's the regs. What was I supposed to do? Say no. He just would have sent somebody else. At least it wouldn't have come from you. And I could live with that a lot better. That's a cheap shot. Thousand percent, that's a cheap shot. Garibaldi is so wrong here. You know, I was liking him five minutes ago. But now, dude, so, that's so bad. Roger that. <laughs> I remember that episode. Pause. Who is it? Wait. Uh oh. Open. I want to hire you as a bodyguard. A contact from Earth who does not want any official record of this visit. My contact is coming to do important business here. 
may run into problems with the people we'll be dealing with. Of course, it means going up against your own security team. You have a problem with that? They're not my security team anymore. If you asked me that question yesterday, I'd have said yes. Today? No. Mm -mm. No, I don't have a problem with that at all. It'll be rough. Hello. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, I, I need to see Zathras. you. Oh, no, it's very busy. Zathras! You're not supposed to be here. We left you a thousand years in the past. No. Yes. We have never met before. You. No, no, we have met. No. <laughs> no, you did not meet Zathras. You met Zathras. Let's try this again. As you wish. Zathras came with us to Babylon 4. <laughs> yes. Zathras stayed in the past with Valen. Yes. You're Zathras. Yes. Therefore, you went into the past. No. no. That was not Zathras. <laughs> that was Zathras. <laughs> I love this. There are oh my god, I love this. Of us, all of family Zathras. Each one named Zathras. There's ten Zathras. Differences in how you pronounce Zathras. 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 You are seen now. There are ten of you? Uh, nine now. And Zathras? Gone. Zathras warned Zathras, but Zathras never listened to Zathras. <laughs> Zathras was... All right, just time out, time out. Okay, this is hilarious, and I love this. The whole thing about they're all being named Zathras and they all have the same name Zathras, but it's slight differences in inflections, but it's not really. This is amazing. I love this so much. I have to imagine that they had this conversation like on set in a production meeting of how do you pronounce Zathras? How are they all different? I would even venture to say that they shot it both ways with him saying Zathras in different ways and then saying Zathras in the exact same way. And they went with this one because it was just hilariously funny. It's so good. This is so funny. This is hilarious. Only Zathras have no one to talk to. So Zathras talks to dirt. <laughs> Sometimes dirt has insects in it. <laughs> and Zathras likes insects. Not so good for conversation. But for eating. But much protein. <laughs> <diet>. <laughs> 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 Ready? Uh, Zathras fix now. Come this way. Line of them. <laughs> I love that so much. I love that whole scene. Everything about it. But you turned in your station ID. I did. I made it back up a long time ago in case I ever got into trouble. Of course he does. I just never thought I'd this have is to bad. Get around my own people. So what does your contact look like? And so he sent his wife in his place. He wants her to start learning the ropes so that she can take over. Oh, it's Lise. It's Lise Hampton Edgars. You don't mean William Edgars? That's why she has the last name Edgars William now, Edgars dude. who owns half of Mars Dome. William Edgars who's got more money than God. That William Edgars. You two ready? Couldn't be readier. Miss Edgars. Okay, can I make a confession here? This is going to get me in trouble. I know it is. I care absolutely nothing about Garibaldi and Lise and their relationship and their issues going on. It doesn't impact me in the least. I seriously hope that what they're doing here is just serving a purpose of connecting Garibaldi to this Edgar's guy uh, for whatever he's going to be doing. So yeah, I really hope that's all this is about because I just, I frankly don't care otherwise. Just sorry, folks. It's just how I'm feeling. Anything unusual in the area? Negative. Only one access recorded to Customs Bay. Who was it? Identicard record indicates Security Chief Michael Garibaldi. Garibaldi. Mm -mm. All right. This is a security override. Cancel all Identicards and station clearances belonging to Michael Garibaldi. Again, he makes an order like that without having any sort of a confirmed password, no, voice no, print no, identification no, only, I guess. This is where we're set to meet him. This is where we're meeting. We better get out of here. I don't like some of the looks we're starting to get. Hey, I know you. Bar fight. Come on. Yeah, what's wrong? Yeah, they cancel my security clearance. <sighs> Good time for that to happen. I can't pull myself up like that, folks. Straight. I ain't gonna lie. Then right. Go on, I'll catch up. And there is no building that I've ever worked in where I know the air duct system that well.
Shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. What was that all about? Is there a bomb in the air vent? What is happening here? Or is it an animal in the air vent that's chasing after it? What is going on? When you say, I know what I said. Come on, back. Is it telepaths? Is that what it is? It's telepaths. Like, if this is all to get Garibaldi, like, back to Mars or to meet Edgars or whatever, then cool. But I don't need this to go relationship-wise between him and Lise. Like, I just, I don't need the, the, the pining love thing. I just don't care. I want to know it's that vial thing that he gave him. Like, he's in that, like, crust, crusted thing. It looked like a little vial. It looked like a little essential oil vial is what it looked like to me. <laughs> Future. They have arsenic tooth caps. Oh. Really, really. Zach to Med Lab. We need a team in Bay Three ASAP. Two Dude, they're down. dead. Zach is looking good in his uniform, though, isn't he? Now, would you be so kind as to tell me just what the hell happened? I'm as much in the dark as you are, Captain. You've jeopardized this station, and you damn near got me killed. Now, I could have got out of there a hell of a lot easier with two less bodies on the deck if you hadn't canceled my identity card and taken my gun. Now, as far as I can see, I haven't broken any laws here. Trespassing. Wow. Violating station security, unauthorized use of an identity card. Yeah. Man, that's small time, and you know it. You want to find me? Go ahead. Look, okay, Garibaldi is absolutely wrong here. He is shifting the blame of his own uh, abuse of pa position and power. He's shifting the blame to, to these guys when he's the one who's in the wrong. Yeah, I, I mean, Sheridan has every right to be miffed at what's happening here. You know, honestly, I think the best thing for Garibaldi to do at this point is leave Babylon 5. Go back to Mars, start your business elsewhere. There are plenty of clients all over the place. You don't have to just be on Babylon 5 for the clients. Like, you can get them anywhere. Just leave. Go set up your business elsewhere, clean start, you know, make a clean cut. Let's go. Voice authorization needed to deliver waiting message. From whom? Lise Hampton. Hello. Delete message. Just Dumbass. Oh my gosh. Dude, that has to do with your work. That's not about you, dude. You handled yourself well under pressure and you saved the life of my wife. Thank you. It's just part of the service. Perhaps. I've done some checking on you, Mr. Garibaldi. My organization could use a man like you. I'd like to hire you and retain her. You'd have to come to Mars, but I promise I can make it worth your while. Over the last three years, ever since President Clark took over after arranging the assassination of President Santiago, you've been hearing nothing but misinformation, propaganda, and outright lies. Now, we're going to tell you the truth, but you cannot kill the truth. And the truth is back in business. That rings out like Babylon 5 is online for business, like back from the, the first part of the, the show. Okay, so that happened. I, 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 I enjoyed the episode. Like, I was in it. I, I did. I enjoyed the episode. It doesn't feel complete. You might have seen me check the time there at the end because I was like, this has got to be getting towards the end, but it doesn't feel like it's anywhere close to the end of this story. Like, I don't know. I, yeah happened okay good episode i think maybe like i said garibaldi has to get off babylon 5 it's time for him just to go start his own business elsewhere the lease the lease thing whatever i don't care i am interested in the the edgar's thing though that's that's super interesting zathras zathras is here that's fun garibaldi continues to be a jerk and then he can be a really cool guy like we saw at the beginning of the episode so i don't know hey you guys make sure you come back on monday jeff and i are going to get together we're going to talk about this episode in all its glory detail and dive in i don't know maybe jeff picked out something that i didn't i don't want to leave you guys with the impression i didn't like this episode i i liked it i just i don't i'm sorry i just don't know that there was much of a reaction to it because it just sort of like happened you know anyway uh like i said you guys come back on monday and join us we'll be back then and make sure you like subscribe comment down below all that sort of stuff no spoilers and until next time guys take care